What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Glaceon team, and this is a Choice Specs Glaceon. Now, Ninetales is here to put the snow up so Glaceon can spam Blizzard, but Glaceon also has Freeze Dry, Alluring Voice, which we do use today for a cool effect, and Terra Ground Terra Blast for just excellent coverage into the steels and fires that think they can resist you. The rest of this team, some bulky stuff. We got Electabuzz, standard follow me bot. We got Incineroar, standard fake out intimidate parting shot bot. We got Rillaboom, standard fake out U- uh, we don't have U-turn, we have high horsepower. And Palafin. Palafin hasn't been in the meta much. People are using other water types or not having a water type. I think Palafin's pretty good, you know? Access to Haze, powerful priority, wave crash is a nuke. I do get why people are going to like Basque Legion on rain teams, but I think Palafin has a place. Anyways, this team was made by Chuar, and I featured it on my channel before. I fought Chuar using this team, or a different version of this team maybe. But anyways, let's get on to these battles. All right, we got whoa, is that a floatzel? We're up against a floatzel rain team. Ninetales gonna be having to put in some work. They've also got Overquill, Indeedy Female. Sneezler, and Hisuian Gudra. How do I want to play up against this? Rillaboom seems great, and Ninetales seems great, because we need to get rid of their terrain, and we need to get rid of, the, rid of their weather. So both of those seem fantastic. Blizzard spam seems really good, honestly. I'm not against spam and Blizzard. Spam and Blizzard seems like the way to go. So I want to lead Glaceon. Do I want Palafin here? Palafin with Haze would be good against the Gudra if it starts boosting. So maybe I go Palafin and Glaceon in front, plan to pull Palafin out. Yeah, Glaceon, Palafin, and then have Ninetales, Rillaboom in the back to change terrain and to change weather. If I get the terrain and the weather, Palafin can jet punch stuff, which is great. And having Rillaboom just seems fantastic in general against a rain team. Though the only real target for that is Floatzel. But we'll see how that goes. And we're locked in. Alright. Show me a good trainer card. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. Cool. Lucario by the pool. Pool. Indeedy Gudra League. Okay. This is what we're doing, huh? I want to get Blizzard spamming. Like, I don't even care about removing your terrain right now. Like, you're not using it. Except to block Jet Punch right now. I want to click Blizzard while I can click Blizzard. Uh, they could pull out either of their Pokemon to Pelipper right now. And I do need to lock into a move, but... I think Blizzard's the way, because they could redirect a Freeze Dry, but they can't redirect a Blizzard. And then I'm probably going to have to pull Ninetales out again, because then they'll go into Pelipper. Assuming they brought Pelipper. I think you would against a Snow Team. No Terras from anybody. Good big Blizzard over half to Indeedy. And a Shelter from Gudra, that's fine. I just looked, I was like, does this Nine Tails have Encore? No. Alright, and a Trick Room. That is okay. And Gudra is Leftovers. Glaceon might get Body Pressed. I don't think they want me to get a Veil up. Do I want to Terra Ground? I really don't feel like I want to. And also, if the snow stays up, Body Press isn't going to do anything to Glaceon. I think I want to Blizzard. Maybe even go into Palafin. Get that Haze ready. Not quite ready to go into Rillaboom. But it looks like they're not swapping, so that's fantastic. If I can get another Blizzard here, that would be great. Oh, it's Heavy Slam! Let's go! Good swap. 
Eat that up, Palafin. And then we take out their Ndidi because we were actually slower than their Ndidi. Okay, I'll take that. And here's Overquill. Do you have Intimidate or Swift Swim? This Trick Room is up. Looks like it's going to be a Swift Swim over Quill. Honestly? Glaceon should be slower. Thanks for the Trick Room, bud. I'm going to go ahead and throw a Blizzard. Maybe I should just back it up with a Wave Crash. I could also take Terrain Control here, but I don't want to give Gudra Terrain. I think Gudra would prefer if I did. Gudra protects, I could haze it. I'm gonna back it up with a wave crash into Gudra. Okay, Overquill swaps. Is this into Pelipper? Yes, finally into Pelipper. So the wave crash should be pretty good damage now in the rain. Thank you for the rain. But body press is gonna do more damage to Glaceon. We still eat, which is great. Any Blizzard connects? Both Blizzard connects! Goodbye, Gudra. Goodbye, Pelipper. Goodbye, game. Because <laughs> Pelipper gets knocked out here, and Glaceon is going to just delete the Overquill. Because I'm going to keep the Psychic Terrain up so they can't talk with Jet or anything. And I'm going to set Snow, and I'm going to Blizzard again. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, they still do have Terra, but... I think Overquill has a Terra for this? I don't. Blizzard. Snow. And forfeit? 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 No, no, they're thinking. They're gonna, they're gonna come up with a way to do this. They're gonna do the 4v1 comeback. Alright, I mean, go for it. Maybe you're really slow for some reason. Maybe you, maybe you have a Terra. Maybe they're Terra Ice, and they can just take this and retaliate. Terra Water, that does resist. It's something. It's something Rillaboom can Grassy Glide later, but it's something. Might not get the 4-0 here. Blizzard was going to KO otherwise. Especially because they're Barry, not Sash. One more Blizzard would do it if I get the chance. Doesn't look like I will. Goodbye, Glaceon. Couldn't dodge? Okay, it's fine, Glaceon. You did you did fine. You did fine. We'll go to Rillaboom to finish this off. Four blizzards. Nice. And that was the only opportunity to dodge. The body press that it took was in the rain, so it couldn't have dodged that. Grassy glide. And if you protect, I guess I get Aurora Veil. Goodbye, Overquill. I mean, respect for them to for, to them for staying. They did not get swept. They did not let the 4-0 happen. And they're oh, that's Exilu. I think I just played one of their teams. All right, GG. All right, here we go, a Klefki team. Okay, this is the standard Annihilate, Sinistra, Mousehold, Pelipper, Archaladon team, which usually has Grimmsnarl, but this one's Klefki. I like this style of team. I love Sinistra, and I think those are, like, the right mons to use. Klefki over Grimmsnarl means they can get Prankstered, but I don't have a Prankster, so it doesn't matter. I have to fight Weather. I have to fight Eight. I do have Haze, but that doesn't get rid of screens. Um, Electabuzz is good. Electabuzz will redirect a beat up, and Electabuzz can taunt. So I need Electabuzz. Electabuzz is huge here. Also, redirecting Electro Shots. Electabuzz is the play. I don't think Palafin's the play, since it can't touch Sinistra. It must be the Icy Boys. And one of the fake out users. Rillaboom might help them more than it helps me. But we do have high horsepower. Incineroar. I 
think it's Incineroar, but it's not on lead. Glaceon with Ninetales and Incineroar in the back. Yeah, Glaceon is our offense. Get some big offensive pressure going. Incineroar can deal with the Sinistra late game. Is kind of why I wanted it. Cool card. Like if the Sinistra sticks around late game. Screens plus Annihilate. That is certainly a play. How fast is this Electabuzz? One twenty-five. Whereas Annihilate naturally hits one ten. Annihilate could be EV'd to be faster than this. I would like to taunt it. Maybe even hit it with a luring voice. If they try to get a stat boost. Yeah, maybe I'll taunt Clefty? No. Bolt switch the clef key. A luring voice, the Annihilate. Yeah, they're gonna put up light screen. There was no way I was gonna stop that. They did bulk up, and they did not Terra. So this alluring voice will do decent damage, honestly. But with light screen, not so much. Uh, I can't bring Incineroar in here. So it's gonna be Nine Tails. how much this does through light screen. I don't expect a KO at all, not even close, but the confusion from Alluring Voice should be great. Because they got the bulk up off, I'm able to get the confusion. And it did enough to the, for the next one to KO. Should I try to get Aurora Veil up? Or would they just go straight to Pelipper? I guess I could Moonblast, bring in Electabuzz, because if they bring in Pelipper, then I at least have Electabuzz in. Yeah, I don't hate that. I don't know this actual speed stat on Cloud Key, so I don't know if this means they're swapping or not. I'm just going to use Frank's for moves all day. Here's a Terra. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to Terra the Annihilate there. If you're gonna not protect. And it's water. Electabuzz likes to hear that. You also might hit yourself. Don't drop it, special attack, please. Good. And they do get the drain punch into Electabuzz. It's not too bad, though. And they're attacking with Klefki. Just a clean, though. That's nothing. I think I should try to get Aurora Veil up. To take these hits a little bit better. Then the question is... I think I'll Volt Switch off the Clef Key. Because if you swap into Pelipper, I don't get my Veil, but I get Pelipper. It's Sinistra. Okay, yeah, for the healing. That makes a lot of sense. That means I get Veil, though, which I love. And now I can maybe freeze dry your Annihilate. You're also gonna hit yourself eventually, I hope. Please, ducks, work with me here. Thank you. Thank you for the free turn. And Electabuzz is slower. It's important to note. I still don't want to bring in Ensign, but it's obviously I want to bring in Glaceon and Freeze Dry. Uh, do I want to Blizzard and Freeze Dry? I think so. Clef Key could come back in. No, I think I want a Helping Hand Freeze Dry. Through Veil, Drain Punch isn't going to KO us, especially not in the snow. They could Rage Powder here, I guess. 
they didn't, which is fantastic. Hit yourself one more time, please. Nah, there's the Drain Punch. Oh, that doesn't do much at all. You're plus one? Psh, fine. You've got a lot of health, though. Oh, a lot, a lot of health. Man. This Annihilate. Problematic. Come on, big damage. Yeah, get out of here. Crit? No crit? Good. I'm glad that wasn't a crit. I just had enough damage to do that. <sighs> now who's your last? If it's Archaladon, it's still a game. Definitely still a game if it's Archaladon. That would be the scariest thing. If you just send out Clefki with Dazzling Gleam... Now I'm gonna freeze-dry the Sinistra. Bring an Incineroar? To deal with that Klefki? Who could your last be? Pelipper? Mousehole? Pelipper would have come in by now. I think I want to bring in Incin. Freeze Dry Sinistra, yeah. Battles just cancelled. Oh, they had no offense left. Let's go. They were relying purely on that Annihilate. GG. Go Glaceon. Alright, we are fighting, oh, a scary team. Rillaboom Ensign, just like us. But they have Sneasler, Blood Moon, Golden Go, Dragonite. They don't like snow, except Golden Go. Golden Go does like playing in the snow. Likes deleting our snow guys. I should, with Covert Cloak, be able to get an Aurora Veil. Because they can't fake me out. They'll expect to be able to fake me out. And I also have Terra Water if I want to do that? Defensively in the face of Golden Go? I could do that. Uh, is Palafin any good here? Eh. Not without an ice move for the Dragonite and Rillaboom. But it's alright. Incineroar is good here. Especially because that might be... There's so many Intimidate targets. Sneasler, Ensign, Rillaboom. Maybe Dragonite if they're multi-scale. Definitely have Glaceon in the back. Glaceon can sweep once that Golden Go is Golden Gone. And then finally, I do have High Horsepower Rillaboom. But I actually think Electabuzz with Electroweb might be a better answer into Golden Go. If I can slow it down below Glaceon, get a hit off. That might work. Alright. Oh, cool card! Love it. Love it. Love it. Alright, what you got? It is, in fact, Golden Go and Incineroar. I don't actually care about your fake out too much, because it would probably go into my Ninetales. But mine is faster. My Intimidate came out first, so my Incineroar is faster. Chawarzer tends to like fast Incineroar. Oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah, that's a fast Incin. Alright, uh, I think Terra Water Aurora Veil is fine. And then either Knock Off or Flare Blitz into their Golden Go. Is this where I want to burn my Terra? Glaceon would want it maybe for Sneasler, but it's Terra Ground. It's not, like, resisting close combat or make it rain. <laughs> So I think it's fine to blow it here, so I don't just lose nine tails. Aurora Veil. Then the question is Knock Off or Flare Blitz into the gold. I'm intimidated, so I think Flare Blitz would do more reasonable damage. I don't expect Knock Off to even do half. I have no attack investment, and I'm intimidated. But here I expect them to either make it rain or nasty slot and throw a fake out at either slot. They do fake out my ensign, whatever. And they're fast. They're really fast. Oh boy, I was not ready for Scarf Golden Go. Is that Scarf Golden Go? Or what's this Ninetales speed stat? I, I need to check this Ninetales speed stat because that might be Scarf. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Golden Go can't be that fast. That's Scarf. So he's swapping. Definitely a swap there. Um, who do I want to catch on the swap in? Nothing in the back likes blizzarding. I will blizzard. And I will flare blitz. Just just in case the golden go decides to stay in. Also, Blizzard plus Flare Blitz will do will should be able to knock out anything they swap to. Cause like, yeah, they could like live with Sneasler, but the double up maybe not. Yeah, Golden Go has to swap there. Scarf Golden Go. Yeah, bye Sneasler. I hope. I hope this is enough. Uh, that was not very- Ooh, I'm gonna thaw it! No, I get the hex and then I'm gonna thaw it with Flare Blitz. Oh, and it's not enough either. A darn Intimidate. <laughs> You're welcome. Just a knockoff into my own Ensign. Whatever, I was Goggles, you don't have anything I worry about. Dire Claw can't get a status effect on my Ninetales because of the Covert Cloak. So I'm free to Blizzard here. And I think I swap Ensign. I do want to keep Ensign around. Do I want to bring in Electabuzz? I don't want to bring in Glaceon until Sneasler goes down. I think Electabuzz is okay. I wouldn't love to eat a eat a knock a uh, close combat plus knockoff into Electabuzz. I do want my Electabuzz still. Honestly, with everything they have, Glaceon doesn't even seem that good. Maybe I should have brought it in hard and just ripped a blizzard. Live on the edge. It's close combat into Ninetales, after all. So Glaceon probably could have come in safely. But I take out their Sneasler, which is big. Goodbye, Sneasler. It's a knockoff into Ninetales, taking it out. Okay. Crit. Did that crit matter? Eh. Don't really care. Okay, you know I have Incineroar left. Do you go to Golden Go here? I doubt it. I really doubt it. I'm bringing in Glaceon. <laughs> Did! Don't love that. Well, now it's got to be a make it rain from you, so I have to go into my own Ensign. And Electro Web you down. I'll lower your speed, you'll lower your own special attack. We'll be good. Right? Because it should be a make it rain, which will come out first, and then it probably should be a knockoff into my Electabuzz, but that'll be minus two. I'll lose my Eviolite. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. What's the worst case? They uh, trick the Scarf onto my Electabuzz and now I have Scarf, Electroweb, Electabuzz? I don't hate that. Slowing down this Golden Go is like part of the plan. Here's a Terra. Terra Steel? Going all out? I imagine Scarf, Golden Go would be Steel. Yeah. Um, is this gonna be enough to take out Ensign? If you double in, maybe, but I don't- I think it'll be close. I think Incineroar takes this from here. Oh, that was nothing. You must be, like, timid. Maybe you're not even max special attack. Cool. But I assume, like, knock off Electabuzz. That seems like the play. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no damage. Alright, and now you swap in your... Dragonite? Ursa Luna? Rillaboom? I think I parting shot the Golden Go. Not the Golden Go, because I expect it to swap. I parting shot whatever it becomes. And just throw another Electro Web. Yeah, it definitely swaps. 
this is great because now I get the parting shot and I finally get Glaceon in a position where it can do something. And that something is going to be get faked out. <laughs> I get the Rillaboom down to at least minus one. Probably come back in and get it to minus two. And we're all happy and good. Now if they parting shot here, I guess that's annoying, but not the end of the world. How much snow? I think snow should be done by now, right? They did parting shot here. Back into gold and go. Back into gold they go. Um, how could I have done that better? Layer Blitz, the incoming Rillaboom? That's the problem is I didn't know what was left. <laughs> like, you just call my Incineroar coming in now, right? And without Veil? Not looking too good. For a world where I just let Glaceon go. No, not yet. I'm gonna bring in Ensign. Try to Volt Switch the Golden Go. They try to fake out the Glaceon slot. I should move after and get the Volt Switch. If they fake out the Incense slot, I don't know if minus two fake out plus make it rain takes my Incineroar from here. Oh, they swap into their own Incense. That's fine. They do intimidate my Incense then. This Golden Go is the problem. Oh, and it does take out Incineroar now. Well, now's the time where they're at minus one. So now's my best shot at living with Glaceon. But they have a fake out turn. I don't think I win this one. I think they played this Golden Go so carefully and I didn't make all the calls I needed. I think I should have given up Glaceon earlier. I took too much damage on everything else when Glaceon isn't even going to get a single hit off in this game. Oh, I guess my play is Electra Web. Try to be faster than you next turn. Blizzard is a little stronger if it hits. I don't even know if it's going to. I'm gonna just start ripping blizzards. I don't expect Glaceon to live a minus one steel make it rain. They do swap, giving me some semblance of a shot. But no, they're just gonna come back with a full power one. That's their plan. They don't care if they lose every other Pokemon. Blizzard could get double connect here and double freeze and they don't care. They need to come back and make it rain. And do I at least hit the Rillaboom? No, I hit the Incineroar. Who eats up a berry? I've got no shot here. You hit my Electabuzz? Yeah, that should be game. GG. Glaceon couldn't do it in this one. There still would have been a shot. As long as Snow was still up, there was still a shot. But they played it very defensively, very slow. Took their Sneasler right away. I could have just brought Glaceon in that turn. Sneasler was there. Then I would have knocked out Sneezer, they would have gotten in gold and go. They always click make it rain. Um, the only way I live this is they... All I can do is click Blizzard. So I might as well click Blizzard a couple times. Maybe they parting shot? Yep. I mean, that's part of my win con, is uh... <laughs> I live to make it rain and freeze the golden go. Ain't no way I'm living a single target steel terra make it rain. What am I talking about? I'm gonna run this one. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna run this turn. 
Let me know in the comments if you think there was even the tiniest percentage of a chance that I still win this. Paste is in the description, go ahead and calc it if you want. But I am not eating this Make It Rain. Plus Grassy Glide, don't forget, they can do that too. I'm out of here. GG's to my opponent, they played really well. And Scarf Golden Go I did not expect, and I had a pretty good lead against Scarf Golden Go, considering I terrored the Ninetales. And you've got a great trainer card? Love it. Alright, we are fighting someone ranked 216 on the ladder. That's not crazy high, I've been that high before, but I'm not that high right now. So I don't know why they're matching me with them. Anyway, Solo Dozo, Dragonite, Mousehold, Sneasler, Golden Go, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. I'm glad it's Solo Dozo. No I'm not, I have Haze Palafin. I would have been fine with Dozo. Man, Solo Dozo with Yawn cannot sleep Electabuzz, right? We have Vital Spirit. Right, 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 there we go. Electabuzz it is. It's also good into Golden Go, which is a problem for this team. Do I want Palafin? Palafin can not hit Dragonite or Dozo very well. Breeze Dry can hit both of those really well though. So I think if I stack my whole team with Golden Go answers, Palafin, Incineroar, Electabuzz, then I can bring, not Ninetales, then I can bring Glaceon without Snow. I'll be relying on Freeze Dry. I'm not bringing Ninetales, but I think Ninetales and Glaceon into this just doesn't really work. Ninetales doesn't do much other than threaten Dragonite into Terra, which Glaceon does on its own. I would love to bring Rillaboom, but I'm out of space. Uh, I guess I could have brought... I think this is a matchup where the argument is don't bring Snow at all. That's a good card. But I'm not doing that. I want to play with Glaceon. I don't want to play with Rillaboom, Incineroar, Palafin, and Electabuzz. The Electabuzz is pretty cool. Yeah, of course here we've got a Golden Goat. Uh, and a Mouse Hold. Could be Follow Me Nasty Plot. Wouldn't really care too much about that. I'm gonna go for a knockoff onto the gold. And just swap my palafin out to get it big. Is big a word? Turn my palafin into a hero. Okay, yeah, just follow me, so I'm guessing it's nasty plot? Yeah. You figure that's pretty safe. Palafin can't do much that turn. Crit on a mouse hold, not bad, but the Rocky Helmet, who cares? I'm going to Electroweb. And I think I'll parting shot the mouse hold. If I Electroweb the Golden Go, then I can haze it with Palafin. And I wanna I want a parting shot to get. Yeah, Golden Go just protected. That's okay. I figured it might, that's why I didn't want to just attack it with Ensign. Super Fang into Ensign. Can I have a berry please? No, I don't have one! Oh well. Uh, I wish I could have seen the speed interactions between Palafin and Golden Go. I imagine Palafin could be faster, it has a higher base speed. And this seems like it's probably a defensive Golden Go. This Palafin is jolly. 156? Oh, that's faster. Than most Golden Goes. Yeah, that's definitely faster than every Golden Go. So I can haze that freely. Uh, the Haze will then make Mouse hold faster than Electabuzz again. Or was it faster? No, didn't I like Electroweb first? Then got... Okay. So I can... Bolt switch the Mouse hold. And just Haze. I think I'd rather Electroweb. Because the Haze will go first. Then I get the Electro Web onto Golden Go. 
Golden Go Terra here. That makes some sense. I could, like, Jet Punch plus Thunderbolt or something. Oh, Steel Terra! I don't... I don't get that. Faint into Palafin. So you're hitting Palafin. I'm not protecting Palafin. I'm getting rid of your nasty plot. And then I'm putting a new speed drop on you. Which I'll need. Okay, you were faster than my Electabuzz. But without that boost, you're not doing much damage. Item? Don't see the item. Oh, Electroweb, who are you missing? Golden Go! That's who I wanted you to hit! That's all I wanted you to hit! Well, now they're at minus one, so they're gonna do even less. I don't want to get hit by mouse hold. Well, I think I need to volt switch the mouse hold. And just protect Palafin. Because Golden Go will go before Electabuzz. But I couldn't get a water move into Golden Go. Because I'll, uh, Palafin, whether I'm Aqua Jet, Aqua, not Aqua Jetting, uh, Jet Punching or Wave Crashing, I'm gonna go before my life. Now I can finally get rid of this mouse. Get out of here, you silly mouse. And now I could bring in Glaceon even if I wanted to. Or Incineroar just for a fake out turn. I think I like Glaceon, because the things Palafin had to worry about on this team, Glaceon dealt with. So I wanna I wanna give a little bit of fear onto them. Sneasler? Don't love that. Have an Insin. Um, do I wanna give you Insin? It's a good chance they just click make it rain here. I'll jet punch Sneasler and bring in Ensign. Weaken the Sneasler's damage output. Looks like Golden Go is staying in. Don't really care. Might lose Incineroar here. Not the end of the world. Let's see how much I can do with Jet Punch, though. Nope, they're gonna fake me out. Okay. I am starting to lose some health. I wish I had some healing. That's not gonna do enough. Alright, now I could fake out Sneasler. They could double protect here. But I think fake out Sneasler... ...isn't bad. I really wanna get rid of Golden Go, though. Everything's been weakened so much. I've got the number advantage, but it's not good enough. Uh, fake out Sneasler. And Wave Crash it. I think that's my play. They do withdraw Golden Go. If they just protect Sneasler, they got me this turn. It's Dragonite. That's good. Sneasler just protected, though. That's bad. Um, extreme speed plus close combat here. Would extreme speed be enough to take Palafin? Maybe. What's my plan against Golden Go now? Palafin's faster. I could get a big wave crash if I'm allowed to live. Try to parting shot Dragonite and just protect. No. Sneezer close combated into Palafin. That's interesting. What did Dragonite do? Oh, it's a scale shot set. Okay. Uh, that makes them faster now. Don't love that. If 
I go into Electabuzz, he'll get Scale Shotted. If I go into Glaceon, if I go into Glaceon, E to minus one close combat. Palafin goes down to Scale Shot. Can't allow that. No. Electabuzz comes in. Scale Shot takes Electabuzz back into Palafin. I think I'm stuck. I don't think I can win this one. These Golden Ghosts are just proving to be a pain for Glaceon. Because I have to focus on them and then they do all this. If I had Rillaboom last instead and didn't care about Golden Go, eh, Rillaboom wouldn't have helped against Dragonite though. So what, I Terra Ground? Freeze Dry Dragonite go into Electabuzz. My defensive Terra. Then Make It Rain can't KO me either in one hit, but if I get close combated, then I probably make it rain range. If Electabuzz can live, that would be fantastic. Stream speed, yeah, we can take that. Close combat, yeah, we can take that. Oh, not even half. And you're weakening your Sneasler. Okay. Ooh, Poison Touch, that's bad. Freeze Dry should take out Dragonite. I don't care if they're multi-scale. Unless they're multi-scale and Assault Vest. Nah, they're still bad. Um, close combat takes out my Electabuzz, and then a single target Make It Rain takes out Glaceon. No good. Electabuzz might be able to live the close combat. I'm gonna go for a freeze dry on Sneasler and an Electro Web, and it's in the hands of the damage calcs. Does this KO? Maybe. No! It doesn't! That means Glaceon takes this Make It Rain. No, she doesn't. No! <laughs> okay. That Poison Touch might have been the difference, honestly. Man, Golden Go's a rough matchup. Alright. Uh... What can I still do? Nothing, really. I guess I take a minus one Make It Rain, and Jet Punch Oko's the Sneasler who isn't sashed for some reason. Yeah. Oh, it did take them out, but they were sashed. If they weren't sashed, I take them out, if I then live Make It Rain, which, unlikely, I would be able to get a Wave Crash into them. But they seem pretty bulky. I doubt one Wave Crash would take out their Golden Go. Well, GG. They were ranked much higher than me anyway, and they played well. And we are back. Thank you so much, Tuarzer, for giving me this Glaceon team. This Blizzard went crazy. When I was allowed to click it, Oh, I really struggled against those Golden Goes, and this team has answers to Golden Go. I just got outplayed, and a Golden Go that's played well can definitely take down a Snow team. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have better luck when you play this against Golden Goes. Oh, uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.